Hi, this is Dawn from Ninja Bonnie Crochet. Today I have for us to do this shopping bag uh, bag holder. You put all your plastic bags, you just shove them into this end, and then you can just pull them out on this end. This is a really easy project to do, and it's really, um, I just really like this project. It's a convenient um, way to hold all your plastic shopping bags so that you can reuse those bags. For today's tutorial, I used Premier's Candy Shop yarn. The color is called Twizzler. This is a medium four worsted weight yarn. It's machine wash, cold, tumble dry. 260 yards per cake or 230 meters, five ounces, 140 grams. You're gonna use pretty much all of this for this project. You'll have just a little bit left over. You are also going to need an elastic hairband. It doesn't matter what color it is, just any um, cheap little elastic hairband. You can get these at uh, the Dollar Tree. Just any little um, elastic hairband. I used a I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's get started making a plastic bag holder. I'm going to start with a slip knot on our hook. With our elastic band, we're going to single crochet around the elastic band. So hold your yarn, your working yarn, and your elastic band in one hand. Insert into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over around the band and the yarn and pull through and make a single crochet. So we're going to place 24 single crochet around the elastic band. So that's one, this would be two, three, four, Five. So continue making single crochet around the elastic band and I'll meet back up with you at the end when we have 24 single crochet around the elastic band. I have 24 single crochet around the elastic band and we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. Now to start row one, we're going to chain up two, it doesn't count as a stitch, and we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to place two half double crochets into the next. Oops, drop the stitch there. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so this is our repeat pattern. I'm going to do one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets into the same stitch or a half double crochet increase. So please repeat that all the way around. So it's one, one, two. And I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of round one. We have 32 stitches. And we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made. To start round two, we're going to chain up two. And we're going to half double crochet back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and into the next two stitches. Into the next stitch we're going to increase or half double crochet 
two stitches into the same stitch and this will be our repeat pattern so we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then increase so it's one half double, one half double, one half double, two half doubles. Please repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round two. I have 40 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made. To start row three we're going to chain up two and half double crochet into that first stitch that we made and we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches. Then we're going to increase into the next stitch. And that's our pattern. We're going to go one, two, three and four and then increase into the next. So it's one, two, three, four, increase. Please repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round four. We have 48 stitches. We are done increasing. We're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. To start round five, we're going to chain up two and we're going to place a double crochet into that same stitch we just slip stitched into and place a double crochet into each stitch around. So continue placing double crochets in each stitch around till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round five. We still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch that we made. To start row six, we're going to chain up two and we're going to double crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. And in that next stitch, which would be right here, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So it's yarn over the hook, enter the post from the front, and come out the front. Yarn over, pull through, and complete the double crochet. The next stitch we're going to do a back post double crochet. So yarn over, enter from the back, pull to the, uh, come out the back, pull up the loop, and complete the double crochet. Next stitch will be a front post double crochet. Yarn over, enter from the front, come out the front, yarn over, and pull up, and complete the stitch. Next one will be a back post. Enter from the back, come out the back, pull up the loop, and complete the double crochet. So we're going to continue this pattern all the way around, going front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way around to get back to the beginning, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row six. We still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first stitch that we made. 
to start row seven or round seven, we're going to chain up two and we're going to double crochet into the top of that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. To start this row, we're going to back post double crochet into that first stitch or that first um, post stitch. So we're going to insert from the back and come out the back. The next one we're going to front post. So in from the front and out the front. Next one we're going to back post. So enter from the back and complete your stitch. Front post for the next. So we're doing the opposite stitch in the next row. So this is this one is a front post, so we're going to do a back post. And we're going to do a front post on the next stitch. So please complete this all the way around until you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round seven. We still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made. Now for here on out, we're going to continue working row six and row seven until our piece measures 14 inches. So how you measure it is flatten out your piece and measure from here to the top. So when you, you flatten it out and you're going to measure from the bottom to the top and when your piece measures 14 inches that's when you're going to stop but don't fasten off because we're going to make a top part to the bag holder. So I'll meet back up with you when your piece measures 14 inches. Okay, I have my 14 inches completed. How you measure this is you flatten out your piece, take your tape measure, measure from the top to the bottom 14 inches. Now let me bring my camera back down. Now we can start on the top part of our bag holder here. So we're going to chain up two and half double crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into to end the last row of the sides and then place one half double crochet into each stitch around. Please continue with this until you get back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round one for the top and we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made. To start round two we're going to chain up two and we're going to make a double crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around to get back to the beginning 
and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of the round. I made my last double crochet and chain one and now I'm going to slip stitch into that first double crochet that we made. Remember the chain two doesn't count so you go into the double crochet not the chain two. We're going to chain two to start round three half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, half double crochet into the chain one space, half double crochet into the next stitch. Uh, careful your yarn doesn't split like mine just did. Half double crochet into the chain space, and then half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next chain space. So repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round three. We still have 48 stitches. We've had 48 stitches throughout this whole project. So we're going to slip stitch into that last half double or that first half double crochet and fasten off. And you can just get your yarn needle and weave that in. And now we can start on the strap. To start the strap you're going to want to start with a chain of 75. If you want your strap longer, you can do more chains. If you want your strap shorter, you can do less chains. I did 75. It's really up to you. It makes no difference. So once you have your chain of 75 or however many you'd like for your strap, I'll meet back up with you. Once you have your chain, I have 75. You can have whatever number you would like. I like to flip my chain over and work in the back bars of the chain simply because I think it gives a better finish. So we're going to go second chain from hook, so one, two, and we're going to work half double crochet all the way down the chain. Once you get to the end of the chain, fasten off but leave enough of a tail that you'll be able to sew the two ends together once we put it inside the top of the bag, once we weave it into the top of the bag. Now if you want a little bit of a thinner strap you can do a single crochet or a slip stitch but I like to do the half double crochet because it fills in that gap really nicely on the double crochet chain one it fills the gap in. So continue placing your half double crochets one in each chain all the way down to the end and I'll meet up with you at the end of the chain. At the end of the chain I have 74 half double crochet and I'm going to fasten off. Leave a little bit extra there so that we can sew these ends together. So now we're going to get our bag holder like this and at the back of the bag holder we're going to start to weave this in. Now you can use a yarn needle to weave it in or you can just use your fingers like I am. Just weave it in and out between the double crochets. Just like that. And go all the way around the back. found that weaving it in and out with your fingers leads to a lot less twisting of the uh, of the strap versus using a 
yarn needle. I've done a yarn needle in the past before too and it tends to twist a little more so this I found doesn't it doesn't seem to twist the strap as much if you just do it with your fingers. So keep weaving it in and out until you get back to the beginning. You can also take this side too and pop it through like that. Now here's the beginning. So what you can do is bring this one in. It doesn't really matter exactly where you end as long as they meet together at some point. It can be exactly on the seam, it could be next to the seam, it really doesn't, it really makes no difference. And grab up your yarn needle and you're going to sew these ends together. Just take your longer end. And just put the two ends together, make sure they're not twisted. So you might want to just go through, take a peek at that strap and just make sure it's not twisted in the bag. So if it's twisted, just go through and untwist it before you sew it together. Because it'll be a lot harder to untwist it once it's sewn together. So that way it's, they don't have any twists in it. So it lays flat. And then just sew the ends together with a whip stitch. Put the ends together and just whip stitch them together. Real simple. I mean, if you want, you could tie these, you could tie a knot with these two. If you really, you know, feel that you need to secure it a little bit more than just the whip stitch, it's really up to you. I usually don't tie them in a knot. I just whip stitch it back and forth a little bit and then weave in the ends. Just like that and then weave these ends in and you'll be all set. All you'll need is to put your plastic bags into, let's move this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. You just pull these ends and that closes the top of the bag. You put your plastic bags in this end and you can pull them out the bottom out here. So if you've liked this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.